Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, we're going to be talking about having a Taurus Sun and Aries Mercury in the natal chart. Now I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. What I'm talking about is having uh, the Taurus Sun Aries Mercury combination in your natal chart, having those two placements in your chart. Now first off the basic character, which is the Sun. In this case, the sun uh, being in Taurus uh, can be very uh, persistent, patient, persevering, yet uh, stubborn, materialistic, loyal, and steadfast. Now, um, the communication part of the person, communicative side, which is Mercury, um, you know, is about um, you know being very um, you know more outspoken, abrupt, aggressive impulsive, spontaneous, and disputatious. And um, the, the sun in astrology is connected with our basic wants. And the Taurus sun uh, wants to generate income and acquire um, material possessions. And uh, Mercury and Aries, um, you know, in their speech can be abrupt, you know, it can be pioneering, express original ideas, uh, can be impatient, in their thinking and disputatious. Uh, the sun in astrology is associated with our true self and with the sun being in Taurus the true self uh, can be you know, sedentary, peaceful, tranquil, but have a, a very strong aversion to expanding horizons. And the thinking, you know, which is Mercury, Mercury being in Aries, can be a very courageous, um, impulsive, sometimes angry and acerbic. Uh, when you look at this combination, how it may you know, integrate, you know, you, it can give you know, very solid you know, administrative uh, skills because you have you know, the original, you know, the Aries thinking can be original and you have you know, the Taurus sun you know, with that focus on monetary matters and um, generating income. And, um, you know, this could be also, um, you know, having a Mercury, I mean, of course, when you have an Aries, Mercury, and Taurus, Sun, Mercury will be positive before the Sun. And having Mercury positioned before the Sun, a uh, person may often be more premeditative and may often think before acting. Um, you know, the mind, which is Mercury, can be exceptionally active, which is Aries. And um, the thing is, well, keep in mind, even though you know, with Mercury positive before the sun, you know, the thinking at times could still, still be very impulsive and aggressive because of Mercury is in Aries. Now, this may uh, shine a light, so to speak, on a uh, communication ability if there is a conjunction um, aspect uh, between the sun and uh, Mercury. Now, a conjunction in astrology is zero degrees. Now, I use a 10 degree orb if at least one personal planet is involved. In this case, of course, you would have two personal planets that would be involved in the conjunction aspect. Now, let's say, for example, if the Taurus sun is at 3 degrees and you have the Aries Mercury at 25 degrees, and that would form a conjunction aspect. Um, you know, some astrologers and astrology enthusiasts don't believe in out of sign. Um, aspects I do, um, and I'm going to illustrate it through this point. I'm going to show why I believe it's valid by you know this example. I mean, like in this case, okay, the Taurus Sun, if it's at three degrees, you have the Aries uh, Mercury at 25 degrees. That's a eight degree disparity between the planets, so they're still in close proximity to each other. There's still friction uh, that exists, even though they're not in the same sign. Um, there's still the friction and you still have that energy and the thing is I do apply this to the other aspects as well um, sextile, trine, square and opposition aspects and even the inconjunct aspect though you know some people believe the inconjunct aspect is uh, minor I see it as major so um, anyway well the thing is um, Going back to what I was stating before, this could shine the light on communication ability if you have a conjunction aspect. Uh, the thing is, 
this is, um, you know, there might be a communication, can be things that are pioneering, original, could be about welding, carpentry, the military, war. It might be associated with combat, sports, firefighting, arson, investigation, um, because we're talking about Aries. Now, next thing up, um, you know, the sun in astrology, you know, is associated with the biological father. So with the Taurus sun, the person's biological father may actually be a Taurus sun, moon, or ascendant, or embody those characteristics. Now with an Aries Mercury, Mercury is associated with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. And with an Aries Mercury, uh, siblings, cousins, and neighbors, a number of them may be Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or embody those traits. And it's also about the perception of these people. So having a Taurus Sun, the person they perceive, the biological father, is somebody that's loyal, steadfast, patient, persistent, persevering, and um, dedicated. But at the same time, um, they perceive the biological father as somebody that might be overly stubborn, obstinate, greedy, avaricious, um, very unwavering, um, having a strong aversion to make any kind of change or expand uh, horizons. Um, now you have with the Aries Mercury um, person, they perceive a number of their uh, siblings, cousins, and neighbors you know, as people that are very assertive, aggressive, courageous, brave, original, uh, pioneering, um, self-starting, people that don't hesitate or procrastinate, but at the same time may perceive a number of those people as people that are overly, um, you know, abrupt, outspoken, um, combative, disputatious, argumentative, um, you know, people that can be very brusque, you know, in, in their manner and speech. Um, so anyway, well, the thing about this is what's interesting with this combination is that, you know, you have, you know, when you have this, you know, adjacent signs of Taurus, Sun, and Aries, Mercury, yeah, they're close by signs, but they're very different in their expression because, I mean, the Taurus, Sun, the basic character, and the Sun in astrology is the basic fundamental character. And when you have the Taurus, Sun, you know, this is, um, you know, the person is more, docile and gentle, more passive, you know, desires, you know, peaceful, you know, wants that peaceful environment. When you have the Aries Mercury, the speech is like, you know, very, you know, the way the person thinks, you know, can be very different than how they generally act, which is the sun. And the Aries Mercury is more about, you know, being aggressive, not holding back in speech, you know, being very direct and straightforward. Uh, with what's um, you know what's being said and may not you know really re have much regard to whether what's being said um, you know whether it might hurt you know person's uh, feelings or not. I had a friend of mine that was actually he's a Pisces Sun and Aries Mercury and he you know, when he spoke you know he was one you know that didn't hold back or mince words and he even said he felt that he had uh, alienated. A number of people in his life because of his uh, very outspoken and brusque manner of speech. So, you know, be careful, people, with this Aries Mercury, you know, because, you know, it's good to be direct and, and, you know, let people know, like, where you stand with them and so on and so forth. But there are ways of being direct without, you know, uh, you know, hurting somebody, being offensive in the process and saying something that might be you know, provoking. You know, so, you know, that's uh, basically what I want to say as far as uh, that goes. And, you know, of course, you know, if you have like, you know, you've got to look at modifying influences in the chart. You know, somebody's got like a very you know, more soft ascendant. They, let's say they have a, you know, Cancer or Pisces ascendant that might soften that energy of that Aries Mercury uh, to some degree. Uh, because the ascendant is very dominant and it's what, you know, the qualities that we uh, project outwardly and, and very easily and naturally. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Lerner, stay well.